This lesson is about uh, creating a project workflow uh, using Google Spreadsheet and GitHub. What we are going to do is to organize the way we are going to develop the project. Uh, at the end of this lesson, you will have a list of tasks or features like this. And for each feature, there is a title, description, the state, is it open, done, or tested? and the duration in terms of number of hours you need to put to make it done. And also there should be something like this, you know, a time, sum of time you need to put that, uh, your rate and uh, the final cost of this web application. So it's very good for you if you want to do a project for someone and provide a factor, you know, a receipt like this. You need to create a Google spreadsheet Let's make it happen. Go to this URL docs.google.com slash spreadsheets and here select a blank. What we are doing in this step is to add columns, features, description, state and duration. Let's do that. Feature, description, state and duration. The first feature we are going to develop is product list product list and it just show list of products in the home page let's make the description a bit bigger and the state is open it means that we haven't started it yet and the duration let's say two hours to make it done also here you can put a time put rate and put cost for time, it should be some of the columns in D columns. So it's equal to sum D2 to D, let's say, 100. And for rate, let's keep a rate like 30 USD per hours. And here you can calculate the cost of this project. It should be equal to G2 multiplied by G3. It's gonna be $60. So if you add a new item, let's say for this example, we are going to implement a test feature. Let's name it feature one and test feature and it's open. And let's say it's only one hour. You see, it's gonna get updated. Make the titles bold here and here. And that's it. You just created a very simple task management for your React Shopping Cart project. I'm going to add all the steps from here to here. And you can just type them in your Google spreadsheet, create someone like this, something like this. And that's it. So the final cost of this project is going to be you know, a thousand dollars. So let's work on this one. We are going to work on this one and we need to follow steps for make it done this project. Uh, here, first of all, we need to create a GitHub account. For creating GitHub account, just go to github.com. And, you know, for the previous lesson, I'm quite sure that you have created a GitHub account. And inside the home page, there is a new button. Click on new button. We are going to create a new repository and set the repository name to React Shopping Cart. And here, just select create repository, keep all the stuff default ones. After having the repository for React Shopping Cart, it's time to follow the steps here. First of all, we need to add a remote repository. Copy this code from here. Then go to your code in the React project that you have made in previous session. Click on plus button and then enter git remote add origin and the repository that you have created. 
you know, it shouldn't be the best year because it's mine. You should create yours and it should be your names and press enter. So I've just added GitHub repository as a remote repository for my current project. So the next step should be commit. Click here. And then for the project, uh, we have changed some files and deleted some files. Let's set first commit and keep control and press enter for mac computers keep command and press enter and then click on this icon you know push or publish changes to the github server click on it and it's synchronizing your changes to the server of github so it's done let's check the repository here refresh this page as you see, you have your code from your local computer inside the GitHub server right here. You can share your code by sharing this link to someone else and show your work to them. Let's follow the uh, workflow of adding new features. Uh, in the beginning of this lesson, I told you that we need to create a list like this, list of tasks, and let's implement the first one. To do that, first of all, we need to go to the VS Code and then click on Master. We are going to create a new branch because uh, for each branch, we want to implement an in, in individual feature. So let's set the name of this branch to feature dash one. You know, don't put a space between them. It's much better to keep it using dash, creating a space between a stuff. And for feature one, click create new branch and then I'm in branch feature one let's add a sample change let's say inside the app.js at the very top I'm going to enter a simple change like feature one and then it's time to commit this change click on git icon put a message like feature one keep command or control and press enter and then again it's time to publish your changes by publishing these changes uh, in feature one branch it's not gonna be in your master which is your main branch so what we need to do is to go to the repository and you will see an alert like this it says that there is a new branch and the name of branch is feature one and it asks you to compare and merge this changes with the uh, you know master the main branch of your code so we need to do that click on compare and pull request select the default create pull request and then select merge pull request and click on confirm merge by following these commands if you go to the react shopping cart you will see this message basir merge pull request one from basir slash feature one if you go to the src and open app.js you will see your change right here so here is the workflow of adding new feature to this repository what's the benefit of it the benefit is inside the pull request inside the section closed one and if you click on this pull request you have the capability of comparing your changes to the master let's say i'm clicking on file changes and you see it says that inside folder src app.js this line of code have been added to the project so uh, imagine in a you know large features you will know exactly step by step uh, which part of code has been changed added or deleted and for you as a junior developer it's very important to follow the steps to create a fully functional projects there is one thing remains here and we need to go to vs code 
and then click here and move to the master branch and if you check here you know there are two changes that need to be fetched from server click on this icon and it's pooling fetching data from github and updating your main branch the master branch with the latest changes you see it's the latest change in feature one branch so this is the whole process of creating a feature in google spreadsheet uh, make it done creating a branch in vs code publish this branch on the github pull request and merge that branch into the master and then come back again to VS Code, switch to master, and then synchronize your latest change inside your branch. So by having this, we can go to the Google spreadsheet and make this feature done. And we are good to go for the next feature. Uh, let's keep it product list, which is for the next one we are going to do. We need to create product dash list as a new branch you know we just click here enter uh products that list component and press enter and this process start again so that's the topic of next lesson in this lesson what we did together is to create a production workflow it's very important for you as a developer to have a big picture of what you are gonna do here you want to implement let's say 15 features these are the states of these features and here are the time and cost. You can add another column for, you know, estimated time and for the actual time, it helps you to improve your estimation for next project. Very good. This lesson wasn't about coding. It was about organizing and planning your works, which is as important as coding for you as a developer. For next session, we are going to implement product clicks and get our hand dirty with coding and creating React components. Until that lesson, bye-bye.